Nearly one in five Americans earns money from jobs like ride sharing and food delivery. More than a third of those workers have felt unsafe while they do those jobs. That fear became a reality for one Kansas City DoorDash driver days before Christmas. Welcome to Fox 4 News at 6 o'clock. I'm Kevin Barry. The delivery driver was shot while dropping off a McDonald's order. Tonight, the suspected shooter is in jail and charged with two felonies. Fox 4's Malik Jackson is live at the Jackson County Courthouse tonight, where that suspect made an appearance this morning. Malik, what do we know so far right now? Good evening, Kevin. At this hour, Marissa Leonard is still in the Jackson County Detention Center facing those two felony counts, armed criminal action and second degree assault. All of this happening just five days before Christmas. That delivery driver dropping her food off that she had ordered. But when he turned around and walked away, things took a scary turn. It's scary because I've had these thoughts. And she needs to go to jail. That's the way I feel about it. Patricia Rushing not only lives in the area, she along with her son are both door dashers. And she says this exact thing is why every time she walks to a door, she is as cautious as possible. <laughs> It was here on December 20th when a DoorDash driver was shot. Police responded to the scene. He was taken to a local hospital with non-life threatening injuries. According to the probable cause statement, it indicates he arrived and this woman, Marissa Leonard, was already on the porch. The driver wanted to take a picture of the food to prove it had been delivered. But the probable cause states that Leonard objected. As the driver walked off the porch, that's when he heard the gunshot and felt the bullet hit his calf. Leonard told police two stories, that the man was drunk and that she thought the man was breaking in. She claimed she was firing a warning shot after she went back in the home to retrieve the gun. All of this according to court records. She also refused to tell police where the gun was until Jackson County Jail staff later told police that she made a call asking her mother to move her gun. That again according the probable cause statement. She needs to pay the consequences. That's not fair. That man could have died. And just because he was doing his job and you, you knew they were coming. Now, Leonard did have a bond hearing this morning. That bond was approved and set at $25,000. There's a list of conditions, including not being able to leave her house um, if she uh, only for legal or medical reasons. Right now, she, though, is still behind bars. That delivery driver is expected to survive. We also did reach out to DoorDash by email, and at this time, we have not heard back. When we do, we will let you know what they say. Kevin.